welcome students to one of the most important sessions in your reading comprehension class this is i would by far say one of the most important sessions simply because this is where i'm going to give you a completely different approach to solve reading comprehension questions okay so just to give you a recap of what we have done till now okay so what we have completed till now is your reading principles class okay we have completed the reading principles session okay and what we are going to see today is what i call as my rc rules class okay so just to give you a quick recap of the way we are of the methodology which we are going to use for solving rc questions so what we did, what we are trying to do or what i am trying to achieve with these sessions is to give a mathematical approach to give you a mathematical approach to solve english rc questions okay that's what i'm trying to help you out with guys okay it's a very new very interesting methodology uh, if you're able to apply it you'll be very very successful okay in your exam now uh, just to give you a recap right uh, why this is an essential why it is very important what do we typically do in math questions the way we solve math question is first we understand the question okay so what we do is we understand the question after we understand the question what do we do next step is basically we apply a set of formulas okay we apply formula okay and then we uh, we apply the formula and get the answer okay and then we pick the right answer choice this is a methodology which we follow okay so we understand the question apply the formula and get the answer and pick the right answer choice this is how we solve a uh, mathematics question but if you look at english questions right english question is slightly different okay because you you have a passage so typically what happens the challenges which you face okay we've discussed we've discussed this in our earlier session the last session especially uh, where we saw uh, certain challenges with respect to rc questions so if you look at rc questions right first it's very difficult to understand the passage so understanding the passage is a challenge okay understanding the passage is a challenge that's the first problem we have the next thing is after we understand the passage the next thing is we do not know how to formulate the answer okay how to formulate the formulating the answer is tricky okay so first is suppose let's say you have a very cryptic passage then it becomes very very challenging to understand the passage okay let's assume you have understood the passage it's very difficult to formulate the answer so most of the times what do we do we look at the answer choices and try to formulate the answer or we are trying to guess the answer from the answer choice now go back to your mathematic question right any math question we never look at the answer choice and guess what the answer is typically we try to solve it and then pick the right answer choice but we never do okay is answer option a or b a is right we think about it nothing like that okay we can substitute we can always substitute answer option a in the question and do it okay but we never try to guess what the answer is okay we never try to understand the answer and pick the answer pick the answer choice whereas here the formulating the answer is very tricky and then the final challenge with respect to rc is uh, you have very tricky answer choices tricky slash close answer choices these are three problems these are the major issues which you face with respect to rcs and um, we we did one we, we did one simple test also last class right where we picked up one particular passage um in the last session we picked up one particular passage you guys uh, solved it and you were you were finding a lot of uh, problems and these are the typical three problems i have seen with all my students okay understanding the passage formulating the answer is very tricky and the answer choice are pretty close so what we discussed was okay fine understanding the passage is a challenge okay that is why we have the reading principles class okay the reading principles class basically helps you to understand the passage okay it helps you to uh, figure out what is really very important while answering the question the objective of this particular class session the reading principles class was to pick up that 20% or 20% of the passage the whole idea was to pick up 20% of the passage which will help us to answer 80% of the questions okay it was basically helping us to identify that 20% of the passage which will help us to answer 80% of the questions now now that we know that okay fair uh, fair enough we know that this 20% is going to help us answer 80% of the questions now we need to formulate the answer and then we need to find out uh, uh, whenever we stuck between two answer choices how do i pick the right answer choice how do you eliminate all these tricky tricky answer choices and pick the right one to achieve these two is what i have my rc rules class okay now the objective of rc rule session okay which we are going to uh, which we are going to do over the next 3 or uh, 4 hours the objective of rc rules class is very simple a is to formulate the answer 
okay it is to formulate the answers okay and then after formulate the answer it will help you to pick the correct answer choice it will help you to pick the correct answer choice these are two objectives of rc rules class most of the times moment you formulate the answer you will get the right answer choice but sometimes there will be some tricky things which these guy examination guys will play around okay they'll put some very tricky answer choices they will try to fool us but we will outsmart them by picking the right answer choice okay that's the objective of rc rules class okay and the way i have modeled this entire session is very similar or it is very similar to the way you solve mathematics question okay so if i look at a math question right what do you do okay so math question first you categorize the question right okay so you categorize the question what do you mean by categorize the question okay you will first identify whether, whether it's an algebra question or an arithmetic question okay or it is a let's say geometry question okay or it could be let's say permutation and combination some category right permutation and combination so the first thing you will do is before you apply the formula right you should know what formula to apply for that you need to categorize so step one is you'll always what do you typically do in math question so step one you categorize the question okay you will try to identify what category it belongs to okay okay this is an algebra question and it's based on quadratic equations that is step one after you categorize the question what do you do step two step two is you apply the formula you apply the formula and you get the answer that's it these are two steps you will follow in any mathematics question you will apply the formula and you will get the answer you don't do anything beyond this okay categorize apply the formula very similar process we're going to do in rcs very similar process okay the whole idea is for see the way when when i was solving questions and when i was interacting with students they were really finding uh, uh, difficult to find a rational way to get the answer right okay so rationally how do i pick the right answer choice because the entire subject looks pretty irrational okay it looks as a very subjective you might feel a is the answer he might feel b is the answer all those stories so i'm going to give you a very rational approach or a mathematical approach to solve english questions okay so first thing is before we start answering the different types of questions etc let's explain i'll explain the process which you are following what is the process i am trying to follow for solving english questions or rc questions so again it's a three step process okay it is clearly a three step process okay step 1 okay i will teach you how to categorize the question so first step 1 is going to be categorize okay how do i categorize this question how do i know that this question belongs to a particular category okay so step 1 categorize okay that's what i'm going to teach you step 2 formulate the answer how to formulate the correct answer choice okay i want you to formulate the answer choice so i don't want you to guess what the answer is we will use uh, we will try to guess the answer in certain categories but not for all categories that's step 2 step 3 is an additional step compared to mathematics see in mathematics you have step 1 and step 2 categorize apply the formula you'll get the answer and there'll be one answer choice you don't have to eliminate any answer choice at all you don't have to eliminate any answer choice there won't be any tricky answers you apply the formula properly you will get the answer so there's no concept of getting stuck between two answer choices so here there's no concept there's no concept of getting stuck between two answer choices okay you never have this choice at all you will always pick the right answer choice either you will get the wrong you either you will pick the right answer choice or there will be a trap which will be laid and you will get you will pick the wrong answer there's no okay there, there's no way you will say i'm stuck between a and b i'm going to pick the answer unless otherwise you are trying to guess what the answer is looking at the answer choice okay so there are some interesting folks who say that okay fewer the number of decimals the better the answer choice okay so they start looking at the answer choice more number of decimals then they'll knock the answer choice then there are two answer choices which have no decimal so what do i choose only in that that scenario you, in only in those scenarios you'll get stuck between two answer choices otherwise math is pretty straight forward but in rcs we have one step further you categorize you formulate after that okay how do you eliminate the traps okay how do you eliminate the traps okay how do you eliminate all the traps okay this is a three step process which i'm going to follow while solving rc questions so first i'm going to categorize next i'm going to formulate the answer for every category i'm going to give you an algorithm or a working methodology okay i'm going to give you an algorithm 
or a working methodology to answer the question. Okay, I'm going to give you an algorithm or a working methodology to answer each category. Okay, and then eliminate the traps. How do we eliminate the traps? We will use the rules. The rules are basically the do's slash don'ts. Okay, so these are three steps, and I'll teach you some categorization process also. Okay, so any question, any RC question, right? Uh, you're going to follow this three-step process. First is categorize using the categorization principles. I'm going to teach you. Step two, we will formulate the answer. How do you formulate? For that, we have a set of algorithms, working methodology, process available. I will teach you that also. And step three, you need to eliminate the traps. Okay, how do you eliminate the traps? You eliminate the traps using the rules. Okay, which I'm going to give.